Hey everyone, this is Vicki with Messy Table Studios. Here's with a little bitty book flip accordion stretch out. I don't know what you call it. This is an accordion book. Um, and this was made from scraps that I have been that I've collected while working on the idea book that I showed two or three videos ago. This one right here. It generates a lot of scraps. And then I reuse the scraps, so I wanted to do something small and cute with them. So this is what I came up with. Um, this is a paper clip. There's a belly band, or a band, I don't know what you call it. I guess it's a belly band, I don't know. And this is just a random piece of paper with a bow on it that came from something that I got from Tuesday morning and I peeled the thickness off of it and made it so that it's a little more flat. And then on the back side of it is um, a sticker of a potted plant. I like doing the paper clips this way where they're inside and glued shut. I mean, well, they're in between this sheet and then the coffee paper, coffee dyed paper. And this is a sticker but I went ahead and glued it onto a piece of cardstock that I had used in something else and then used it so that I could put the um, paper clip on it as a point of interest for the front of the book. I didn't want to put covers on it, so this was in my head. When I do something like this, everything has to have what I call a gimmick. And that uh, some kind of a bell or a whistle, a point of interest, whatever you want to call it, I call it a, a gimmick. So my gimmick for this one is the paper clip that can, um, page holder that can be taken in and out, used at will. All right, so the next one is a from a stamp set that I was gifted from someone in Canada, and I cannot thank her enough. Stuff was wonderful. I really do love everything that, I really do love everything that you sent. And I've been trying to use it, and I can't remember if I said thank you or not, but this is really thank you. Again, if I've already said it. All right, these little hearts are from um, a sticker set that I got from someone else. And I just used um, Walnut Stain. See, it's just on uh, kind of a light manila cardstock I had that was used in something else, so I decided to stamp more. This is a butterfly that I was gifted. It's a sticker. This is just coffee dyed uh, deli paper that I had on hand. This is part of some scrapbook paper I had left over. And this is a letter that came from this set right here that was gifted to me. Is this Seven Gypsies? Yes, this is Seven Gypsies. And it's these letters right here. I'll, I cut them all out the other day and put them in an envelope so I could always find the letters. There's a lot of cute stuff in here that I have not used up yet, but I will get to it. All right, so there's that one. And the next one is just a piece of paper that looks like a wooden, uh, wooden board. It's very popular right now for people to put on their tables instead of them looking like this, you know, the ugly. <laughs> Let me back out just a little bit. There we go. Um, I learned how to make this from bitty, 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 Corey Dahman. I have a paper clip, a little miniature paper clip that again was gifted to me. And it's just a little place where you can open up and do any kind of journaling inside it. It's a square. I think this one is two and a half inches by two and a half inches. Then you fold the middle parts in, then you fold the bottom up. Mine's not exactly centered, but if it's too tall, you can fold this, this lip down, and then you have this. You can glue them together and use it for an envelope, but I wanted to use it as a journaling, spot, a journaling card. And I put the paper clip on it so I can make sure it stays closed. Then there's this. Um, I can't remember how I got this. I I don't know if I have this stamp or how I got this. I just don't remember. Anyway, so I have a feeling this was a stamp that was gifted to me. Um, I poked a hole in the top, took a little hole circle maker, and 
made it like a hole protector. Put a little bit of uh, some kind of miscellaneous book binding floss, string, whatever, and put it on there to use it as a tag. I hear the cat. And then I stamped it with this. I think that everything should have a journaling spot on the back of it. Put this in here. This was a cutout from a magazine. This is also from a magazine. This is missing the gimmick. I would like to have a little house here on the corner, but I have to find one that's the perfect house for this. So it's not quite finished. And the back side here has a ticket that's kind of pink. And this was um, from some scrapbook paper that I have and I cut out the picture that was on one edge of the scrapbook paper. And it had like a little ruler or yardstick attached to it so I just folded it over, glued a piece of cardstock on the back and then I can use this to pull it in and out of tight spots like this one. This is again another one of those um, envelopes. No, this is a paper, a fold-out paper. I learned this one from um, Corey Dahman. And I think she said she learned it from somebody else, but I can't remember who the other person was. Maybe it was Gail. I just don't remember. And then put that back in there. And this is just a, um, a tag. And then I have a stamp somewhere of an ink pen, and as soon as I find it, I'm going to stamp it and then glue the picture of it right on here. All right here's the back side and my gimmick for this is the tag and that's glossy accents if you can see it. The sun's shining through the blinds so it does kind of, here we go. You can see how shiny it is. I only did it on the flower and my friend drew the flower on there. I love her little flowers. They're so cute. So I, I um, cut it out and put it on here and then this is just scrapbook paper that was left over from something else, as was this. This is a sticker that I've had from, I think it might have come from Hobby Lobby, but I've had it a long time. It's time to use it up. So I put that in there. Then this one is rather flat and kind of plain, but you know, every once in a while you need something plain. This is just ephemera that uh, I think I bought or I can't remember where I got it from, but there's coffee dye paper behind it. And then these little women here were cut out were cut out of um, scrapbook paper in a, is a six by eight little tablet. These are from stamps that were gifted to me and I stamped them on a uh, brown piece of cardstock. This is a stamp and then I just took one of my little tab sets and glued the tab onto the top so it could be pulled in and out. This is just stamped paper. This one right here, this is the stamp I used right there. This is from Hero Arts. I've had this a long time. And this, I think, if I don't see initials on it, I think I got this from Hobby Lobby. There we go. Put that back in, because I'll lose it. And this also came from the st same stamp set as... I think, or another stamp, I think it might have come from stamps that were gifted to me. And I stamped that on a lighter color card because I discovered after I stamped it on the brown that it's really very dark. So I did it with a lighter color. And here I have a little tag that has a letter of the alphabet from that set I showed earlier. And just so we know that I'm thinking about, oh, did I go down? No, I don't think I did. Well, I wasn't supposed to. Let's put it that way. It accidentally glued itself. Whoops. There's supposed to be space. There we go. Space in there that I can put something else. Oh, I was starting to second guess what I did there. I thought I glued it down. Yep. There we go. And then this just goes in the pocket. Then there's this one. Now this is a very small version of what G or yeah G G I K E R K E R R did and I thought it was brilliant instead of poking a hole through stuff you do it through here and then you glue it onto something so it looks like it's been poked through the other side and 
it moves so that you can open this up. Let me roll it around this way out of the way. And this is another one of those folded up paper things. And this, did I glue this down? Sometimes I glue the top down, sometimes I don't. Nope, that one's not glued, there we go. So it's just a, a strip of leftover coffee dyed paper. That's an off cut from some other project. I never thought that stuff would come in handy until I started seeing some of the things that Corey was doing and I was like, oh, I can do that. This is a digital copy of paper that was gifted to me and I have to tell you, I love this pattern and I might have to use it on more things, I love it. This is just, uh, the background is just this. It's, uh, where did it come from? I think this came from Tuesday morning in a pack from Tuesday morning that I bought when I lived in Virginia Beach. And then we're back. So this is the front. This is the front stretch. And then this is the back. And this is all from scraps and leftover pieces, ephemera that was either gifted to me or I bought. And I really do love little books like this. They're very quick and easy. It took me about three or four hours to make it. I was watching, okay, I confess, I was watching police car chases on YouTube while I was making this. <laughs> I was not watching craft videos. I was watching car chase videos. I seem to be stuck in that mode lately. It's either murder or it's car chases. What does that say about me? Don't answer that, please. Okay, so that's it. I just wanted to show you what I spent my afternoon doing today. It's just a little quickie sort of thing that I will make a belly band for later, and then I will um, stick it in my box up on the wall along with my other little books like this. I love little books like this doesn't take a big commitment. If you're afraid of large sizes, start like this and work your way up because eventually you'll be like, I have too many big pictures. I don't want to cut them down. Oh, I need to make a bigger book. And you will. I did. I started doing larger books, which I never thought I would. So I have changed what I like to do. The images get bigger. The book's got to be bigger, right? And I don't want to spend all the time... I don't want to spend all my time fussy cutting little tiny things like this. I, although I could watch more car chases and murder shows if I did. <laughs> oh my. Okay. I got to go. YouTube's on hold. Bye guys. See you later.